Hi Cancer and Sisters, Mary Shi and Macha Shaloka. Let's see what is your situation as of now and what you need to hear from you. Cancerians out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is it that you need to hear from me right now? Just one more time. All right. Cancerians. Your first card is the Two of Wands. All right. You are manifesting something. Okay, an opportunity. You are waiting for some kind of a message to come through. Okay, I see you waiting. And you're manifesting this opportunity to come your way. Something which has potential. All right, some of you are waiting for a message. You would hear about something. You are waiting for something. All right. And this is an opportunity. Whatever that message is, will bring you some kind of an opportunity. Some of you are waiting for a job opportunity to come your way. Yes. You're looking at the Knight of Cups along with the judgment. It's, it's almost like you want them to head your way with this offer. And it's almost like it's going to turn your world around. It is like bringing a verdict. You want them to decide that it has to come to you, all right? Exactly what I'm speaking about, the Ace of Wands, which is about uh, an opportunity, something huge, which has loads of potential. This is what I was picking up on. This could be anything. This could be a job opportunity. This could be a business opportunity, something which, which has loads of potential. It could be a person as well. Something, something is coming your way. You want it to come your way. Okay? Yes, you want it to come your way. Some of you might be dealing with an Aries, um, Aries, Aquarius, Pisces. Okay. Concerns. Some of you might be waiting to hear from another person. In regards to a relationship. Okay. Your next card is this one. <laughs> Look at it up close. It's just confirming what I picked up. Okay. Because when I looked at this card again, there is supposed to be another person in this picture. Okay. Uh, there is this wand, but just one yellow glove. And there is this wand. Um... Both these gloves belong to this person in the picture. So you you are hoping for this person to come into your life, into, you know, in the same picture. And they've just entered your life. All right. So you're hoping for some kind of a commitment. This is like a dream. Again, it doesn't have to be a relationship situation itself. No. Whatever that dream is, could be a job situation, okay? It could be an employment situation, business opportunity, something which is a dream of yours. Again, in terms of relationship, it could be a person whom you are eyeing, okay? Who is like the star in your eyes. You want them to come, come your way, all right? Some of you might be dealing with another Cancerian person or an Aquarius, Interesting reading. It's, it's always like bombarding you. So for each of you, it could be different. Whatever your dream is, whatever you're waiting on, you, you know. Some of you might be waiting for a person to come your way. So that, that is a way it's going to resonate. Some of you might be waiting for a job opportunity. You're waiting for that message to come through. So Yes, it's, it's, it's like, again, page of pentacles, something small, but it has huge potential to grow into something bigger. Moving on, concerns, what else? I could just end the reading right now. Ugh. When it comes your way, 
you will be in charge all right you will be behind the wheel you will be able to control your life again because the card in the center of your reading yes this is like a dream come true this is like your dreams your wishes your desires you want to be in control of the situation you want this to happen you know come your way beautiful energy again a cancerian energy or a pisces energy some of you might be dealing with them what else cancerians so far beautiful all right this is your energy along with the sun most beautiful card in this deck most positive card in this deck again there is a two people in the picture yeah, it's it's like even if you look at this there is duality when i'm looking at the cards i notice but sometimes i don't talk about it but um, i spoke about two wands here okay two people in the picture you're manifesting the other person to come you uh, come your way two of cups two people in the picture chariot still there is two horses in this picture okay see the duality one is white and the other one is black but yet you are controlling and you want to bring it back on track you know you want to have that rain you know control over the rains all right again in the sun card we have two people you're very emotionally invested into things getting beautiful and brighter in your life you want this so badly yes strong manifester energy all right um magician's energy you are manifesting this you want this to happen wow two of swords again two if it's almost like um I want to say you blinded right now you don't want to see um otherwise okay there is no other options you want this to happen you you are focused on this this two swords is all about decisions making a decision how to go about this how do i approach the situation how do i make this happen with that magician and the two swords but for you i feel like you very much putting on the blinders yeah and trying to control the situation you know so focused so determined to make this happen no matter what is the obstruction that kind of determination interesting energy can say it's some of you might be dealing with a libra or a gemini okay yes when i spoke about the blinders is on with the devil's energy there is some kind of an obsession but i don't feel it oh along with the seven of swords um i still don't feel it negative it's 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 almost like hook or crook i need to make this happen that kind of an obsession Yeah, I need to get away with this. I need this to come my way. Magician's energy is again a manipulative energy. Anyhow, I'm going to make this come my way. That kind of energy. This is what I was picking up earlier with that magician and what was it? Two of Swords. I spoke about the blinder energy, even though it it was talking about decisions. No. the way you're trying to do it is uh kind of toxic but i i, I want to say toxic somehow it's it's not toxic it's that obsessiveness i want this how i get it is you know it's it's not going to be uh the straight and narrow path no because that's not going to work i will just try to make it work however i think is right everything is uh, fair in love and war that is your situation some of you might be dealing with a capricorn or probably an aquarius the last card is this one 
with the strength card and the emperor. It's almost like you're convinced you're in charge of this. You will be able to control the situation no matter what. You know, your energy right now is kind of very confident. Now, I will bring about this change in my life no matter what. There is so much confidence about you in a good way. You are taking charge of your life. Okay. You have that belief as well. You will be in charge. You will make that happen. You will be able to tame the situation and make things come around the way you want it to. Again, two energies in there with, uh, with the lady and the a lion but it's it's about you all right the magician and the emperor very very uh very strong energy that confidence that belief is impressive that's it for now i wish you luck and savings out there bye bye i have nothing else to say i've said enough bye